Welcome back to the workshop. Today I'll be showing you how I made this archer's quiver belt. The live music for today's video comes from my awesome cousin in Uruguay, guitarist Marcos Topolansky Quintero. You can hear more of his work on iTunes and Spotify. The links are down below. For this project I'm using some thick vegetable tanned cowhide. I cut the strap to 4 inches thick, and for the length I measured it against my waist and added about 6 inches for overlap. I find that using a wider quiver belt and carrying it higher on my waist lets me carry much more weight more comfortably. I'm starting off by cutting these pairs of slots along the length of the belt. They should be wide enough to fit a normal belt inside. This way we won't have to make a buckle for the new belt, and we can just depend on having an already functional belt. Now I'll be doing a little bit of tooling on the leather to give it some personalization. Spraying water on the leather helps to case it so that the tool marks stick. There are better ways to case leather, but for simple tooling you can get away with just spraying water. This is a pebbling stamp I made out of a lilac branch. You can make one pretty easily by hammering randomly shaped holes into the tip of a very hard wood. Obviously this type of stamp doesn't last as long as a metal one, but they do last long enough that I don't feel the need to buy pebbling stamps. The belt is stained with Phoebing's saddle tan dye, and I also went around the borders with Phoebing's black dye. Finally, I gave the whole belt a couple coats of shellac for finish. Alright, that's all for today. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, may the bow gods be with you, and may your arrows fly true.